What's up guys, so we're back with another discussion video and I get this question a lot. Uh, do I need to spend or save my money up to get a really good smartphone? Um, we're talking about uh, spending you know, money like $700, uh, you know, $1,000 on a smartphone, something like the 7 Pro or the iPhone 11 that we've uh, had on the channel. And uh, the reason why I'm making this video is we're living in a really interesting time where you actually don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really good smartphone that actually checks off you know every box that you could really want. Now I really made this video to kind of highlight the Note 8 Pro which has it really really impressed me so far. This is a $200 smartphone. Uh, you guys have seen the Bold and One on the channel. It's a $200 smartphone. The Mi 9T a $300 smartphone and it kind of checks off each box that you could really want. Now let's take a look at the Note 8 Pro real quick. So 200 bucks on Amazon. Links will be in the description as always. This phone checks off almost every box you can want. You have a premium design. It's glass and metal. Uh, you have a humongous uh, display on here. It's beautiful. It's got the little water drop notch. Uh, very nice bezels. This phone has excellent cameras. So if I just come in here and show you, people are concerned about, well, what, are the, what do the cameras look like? The cameras on this phone are amazing in any lighting condition. Uh, it's very, very impressive. Uh, so that's one of the main things. A lot of people, a few years ago, if you, you know, took a you know, you took a budget smartphone, the cameras would be the weakest part uh, for 200 bucks. That is not the case uh, these days. As you can see, this has an excellent camera um, so far. So I've really been loving using this phone and I would highly recommend it. And like I said, for a few years ago, you couldn't find a budget smartphone for 200 bucks with uh, glass and metal designs. Ridiculous. Another phone you could look at is the LG G7 uh, if you just want a little bit more features. So this is a really interesting phone for around that $200 price point uh, because you've got again a glass and metal design on here you can play the latest games um, on high Fortnite, PUBG, whatever and also on the Note 8 Pro you can also play the latest games on high for $200 it'll play PUBG, Fortnite, whatever on high so how amazing is that and also one of the cool things about the G7 that you can consider is that it has one of the highest resolution a screen so it is 1440p so how amazing is that to be able to watch content in 1440p now let's say you you know you really prefer AMOLED displays you can look at the Galaxy A20 uh, this is an awesome phone as well for 200 bucks also has great cameras all these phones that I'm talking about have really great cameras because I know that's a main concern with people uh, when they buy a budget phone how are the cameras do cameras still suck no, they do not suck. Um, and let's say you want a full screen phone. You can look at something like the Bold and One or the Mi 9T. No notch, no water drop notch. Uh, those phones are awesome as well. Now, what's so amazing about these $200 phones, especially something like the Note 8 Pro or the Mi 9T or the Bold and One, is that you've got the storage on board. So you can put a terabyte of storage in these phones. Uh, you also have excellent battery life. You, uh, 4,000, I think 500 milliamp battery. This has excellent battery life, 4,000 milliamp battery. Um, I think the G7 and the Bolden one, they both have wireless charging. So you got all this really great stuff. They have IP ratings, the LG. And uh, it's just really, really interesting to see um, how far these $200 smartphones have gone. So I also see a lot when I'm looking for phones, especially on eBay, uh, that people... Um, you know they have these phones on there with bad finance so they have to sell them for cheap and uh, I see a lot of those on there people get these expensive phones and then realize they can't really pay on them and so I just want to be like you know you don't really need to buy you know an expensive phone to think you're gonna get a a really good phone especially for this late 2019 2020 and it's just really amazing how far a uh, smartphone tech has come uh, so even if you want something with kind of the latest specs and stuff like that you can always get the uh, what is it the Mi 9T Pro that has a Snapdragon 855 or you can look at something like the Galaxy uh, S10e this is a mid-range device and it's very very nice it's got one of my favorite compact designs on here it's got the little punch hole display uh, dynamic AMOLED display uh, like I said it is very compact the cameras are excellent it has some of the best cameras the same cameras as the S10e and you can find this for around uh, 400 to 450 uh, even cheaper if you go on eBay now why would you want to pick up a flagship smartphone 
I really feel like if you're not really into smartphones like that, uh, you don't really need to spend that money because let's say something like the uh, 7 Pro uh, that I use, it has a 90 hertz display that's a big advantage that has over uh, these $200 smartphones. Uh, yes, it is very smooth, but it's not something that I think a lot of people are going to care about. And also you have this curved glass which makes it look like a full screen phone. It makes it really makes it feel like you're holding a screen and it's just little stuff like that. But the phones that I've showed you, especially if you want a full screen phone like the Mi 9T that has the same kind of display, it's an AMOLED display even the Bolden one has a full screen AMOLED display so as you can see you really don't need to spend that money unless you really just uh, you know are a smartphone geek and you really just want those extra specs the Snapdragon 855 but like I said you know on these $200 phones you're playing the same games on high so it's very interesting the Note 8 Pro even has better battery life uh, than the 7 Pro and for cameras, you know, like I said, the cameras on, on these $200 phones are getting really, really good. And uh, if you put Gcam on some of these phones, you can get some excellent photo quality. So I just wanted to make that video just to let you guys know, you know, don't go out and spend money on a phone that you really can't afford. And, you know, if you want those high luxury phones, there's no problem with that. I understand. But just know that you can get a really good smartphone for cheap these days. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money anymore. So thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.